Some of you may already know this, but the Abyss Bar was originally going to be located at the upper level of the space rig. Later on, they moved it downstairs in places where the armor station used to be. Then we received a teaser of what the Abyss Bar will be like on Twitter. And finally, on update 17, the first public iteration of the Abyss Bar is out. At first, we had no beer buffs or any of the fancy effects. And Skull Crusher Ale used to be the drink that makes you pass out. You may have noticed that the teased version seemed to house a much larger bar than what we ended up getting. Over time, I've actually been able to access some old iterations of the Abyss Bar. First, we'll cover the early UI bar and then the early map bar. Early UI bar. This is actually an earlier version than the one featured in that Twitter clip. There are many more beers listed here with placeholder labels for each. While all these beers are available in the game today, keep in mind only 5 of them were picked out for the Abyss Bar's release. Since no animations are implemented in this version yet, when you order a drink, the mug appears instantaneously. Ordering Dark Morkite will give you an early brown cup, and Glyphid Slimer will give you a blue one instead, while the rest will just be invisible. Drinking these beers will quite literally just make your view blurry, and uh... I tried Leaf Lover Special and actually got you a bit drunker? Anything for history. What's funny is you can get rid of the blur effect entirely by simply turning off the HUD. The barrel hoop game in here is full of placeholder elements but also seems to be a lot slower. What's interesting here is besides the visuals, it seems to be fully intact, like it even spawns in the red barrel that gives you bonus points. Early map bar. Alright, this might get a bit confusing. The bar you see here is an even earlier abyss bar, but it's loaded on an update 25 build of the game. Meaning that the UI elements for the bar are going to be the ones we had before the big overhaul, which added beer resources and the like. Ordering beer doesn't work at all, since the early iteration would just instantly place the beer on nearby surfaces while the current one has 4 slots on the counter. The hoop game also isn't much different, only the score counter is missing and the reset button doesn't seem to work at all. There's also all this free space and interesting detail that didn't make it in. And for some reason the gravity recalibration button is suspended in mid-air on this map. Now let's skip forward to update 25, a league of many new beer labels happened. We'll quickly go through the unused and changed beer labels now. Here are the unused ones. Asgaraz Ale, although this label was used as a placeholder for Moonrider at one point. Bronze Beard Bitter, which I actually got to drink in game but it didn't give off any fancy effect. Okay, this is that barrel kicking perk put onto a beer and I really like it. I do find it funny how your kick is so explosive that the barrel will keep smoking afterwards. Back to the labels. Cannery Dew. Miner's Lament. Smart Sta- Oh yeah, this one's in now. I think it's worth noting that the label was sitting in the game file since 2018. And Tooth Grinder. Now the updated ones. Arkan Stout. The red color was changed to blue. Blacklock Lager. The orange color was changed to dark gray. Black Reach Blonde. Most of the label was made pink. Godrex Special, got a name change to Slayer Stout. Oily Oaf, apparently this entire time had cool barely visible detail in the background, which was made brown supposedly to match the mug better. Potso Gold, received a complete redesign. Asgaraz Ale, actually got a name change to Kaz Azrock Ale. Tunnel Rat, the orange text color was changed to white. And Tooth Grinder, which overall received a small redesign. What's interesting is that some of these labels were updated, but at least as of this remaster are yet to be used. Moving on to update 26. The developers originally planned that you'd unlock beer recipes via matrix cores, but at some point they decided to include a set of brand new resources specifically for unlocking beer recipes instead. And you will never guess what their placeholder names were. Barley 1, 2, 3, and 4. Crazy. I know. In one of these early update 26 builds, you are able to buy these barleys from mineral trading. Although since they are priced at minus one, they were clearly put in for testing purposes. Lastly, each of their early in-game appearances were simply the same plant with different colored barleys. Similar deal with their early icons. And remember when you had to hold E on secondary objectives? I don't.